Houston is my hometown. It's a special place in my heart. I feel terrible. And we're just sending prayers and we're sending condolences and we're sending positive energy to everybody. The frenzied scene at Astroworld is not unusual for a Travis Scott show and is often encouraged by the rapper, as seen in this moment from his Netflix documentary, Look Mom, I Can Fly. Oh, hey, security. You don't tell fans to not turn up at a mother but Billboard News host and producer Jordan Rowling points out Travis is not the only artist to promote dangerous behavior. This is common in punk rock music and obviously in hip-hop music. You know, violence, dangerous behavior, these are things that rappers are known to talk about. In a recently resurfaced interview with GQ from 2015, Travis tells the men's magazine he wants his fans moving to his music. You don't like people that just stand. Like, this is a no-stand zone. At the end of the night, you should have been throwing up. I'm the mosh pit. I'm like you're in there and you just have so much adrenaline. Fans who have attended Travis Scott concerts, they know there's going to be violence. They're looking for that escapism, that freedom, that spirit of uh, anarchy almost. And they still flock to them knowing the risks. Do you believe the performer, Travis Scott, should have called an end to the concert? On the Today Show this morning, Houston Fire Chief Samuel Peña explains where he believes the responsibility lies when it comes to Astroworld's mass casualties. Everybody in that uh, at that event has a responsibility. The artist, if, if he notices something that's going on, he can certainly pause that that uh, performance, turn on the lights, and say, "Hey, we're not going to continue until until this thing is resolved." Today, threats of legal action continue to mount with over two dozen lawsuits already underway. Houston-based attorney Anthony Busby representing a number of the victims' families, including the father of 21-year-old Axel Acosta, who lost his life at the music festival. He was a great kid, excellent student. Access legal contributor Allison Treasel says Travis could potentially face charges of criminally negligent homicide. These new lawsuits are going to allege similar things, which is there was gross negligence here, that Travis Scott invited this chaos, there was not enough security, and this disaster was bound to happen. 